10. Most Terrifying Archaeological Discoveries on the Planet That Scared Scientists The history of humankind holds countless secrets yet to be revealed. Archaeological relics preserve memories spanning thousands of years, filled with mysteries waiting to be uncovered. These are not just traces of time, but also contain frightening and chilling discoveries that have left researchers puzzled. Join us as we travel back in time to explore the most terrifying and mysterious archaeological findings in the video 10 Most Terrifying Archaeological Discoveries on the Planet That Scared Scientists. A 6,000-year-old skeleton The discovery of two prehistoric tombs near Magdeburg, Germany, at the site of Intel's new multi-billion dollar semiconductor plant, has highlighted the importance of protecting cultural heritage amidst modern industrial development. Located approximately 160 kilometers west of Berlin, in an area locally known as Uhlenberg, the site underwent examination by the Saxony-Anhalt State Office for Heritage Management and Archaeology before Intel's project commenced. During this assessment, something unexpected was unearthed. On a small hill in the area, researchers found two large burial mounds, covering wooden burial chambers. These graves are estimated to date back around 6,000 years and contain traces of ancient rituals, including chariot burials, where livestock were sacrificed and interred alongside human remains. Archaeologists believe these were sacred places symbolizing the importance of livestock to the lives of ancient Stone Age communities. Remarkably, one of the tombs has been identified as belonging to the Balberg people, a culture that thrived in central Germany around 4100 to 3600 BCE. This remarkable find lays the foundation for deeper research into the life and culture of these prehistoric communities. These discoveries also indicate a consistency in religious practices across this area. Consequently, further analysis of these findings promises to provide intriguing insights into prehistoric life, culture, and how early humans honored and interacted with nature. At the same time, the protection and preservation of cultural heritage during economic development have become more vital and respected than ever. Mysterious Inscription on the Coffin Lid In 1957, construction workers in Xi'an, Shanxi Province, China, unexpectedly discovered an ancient tomb. They quickly informed local authorities and archaeologists, leading to an excavation that uncovered a coffin dating back to the Sui Dynasty. 581 to 619 AD. Upon measurement and inspection, the tomb was found to be rectangular, with a depth of 2.9 meters, an opening size of 6.05 meters by 5.1 meters, and a bottom dimension of 5.5 meters by 4.7 meters. Based on the valuable burial artifacts within, experts identified the person buried in the coffin as Li Jingshun, a nine-year-old daughter of Li Min, from a prominent family of the Sui dynasty. Li Min was highly regarded for his extensive knowledge and skill in the arts, earning the admiration of Emperor Yang Jian, who later arranged a royal marriage for him. Thanks to these connections, Li Min succeeded his father as the Grand Preceptor of State and was titled Guanglu Dafu, which enhanced the power and wealth of the Li family. As the daughter of Li Min and the maternal granddaughter of Empress Dowager Yang Lihua, 561 to 609 AD, Li Jingshun led a life of luxury and privilege, cherished by her family. However, at age nine, she fell severely ill and passed away, leaving the Li and Yang families in profound grief. Historical records reveal that, following her death, Empress Dowager Yang decreed a royal funeral for her granddaughter. Before opening the coffin, specialists were startled to find four characters engraved on the lid. Whoever opens this will die. They believe the family of Li Jingshun inscribed this curse to protect their beloved daughter's resting place, deterring grave robbers from stealing the burial artifacts or desecrating her remains. Mysterious Mural in the Amazon Jungle The debate over prehistoric civilizations has always been contentious. Many legends may hold truth, yet evidence is challenging to verify. Even Atlantis was mentioned in the dialogues of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, but unfortunately, no evidence has ever been found. Recently, however, a group of British and Colombian archaeologists made an incredible discovery deep within the Amazon rainforest, a magnificent prehistoric mural. Although it's unclear if it has any connection to Atlantis, its intricate design raises questions about ancient civilizations. These murals span three locations, the largest being Cerro Azul, 
with a total of 12 massive rock paintings and countless hieroglyphs. The rock paintings depict giant sloths, camels, horses, and three-toed sloths, as well as scenes of life and hunting from that time. If the proportions of these animals and humans were to be fully restored, many of these creatures would be as large as a car. Strangely, the paintings also include half-human, half-beast monsters, and figures wearing bird masks, making it difficult to determine if these images represent power worship or accurate depictions of that era. This leads to the question, who created these rock paintings, and what prehistoric civilization do they represent? The most famous civilization in Central America is undoubtedly the Maya, which emerged before 2000 BCE. From the initial development of agriculture, a relatively complex society gradually formed, with early cities and large-scale sacrificial ceremonies appearing around 750 BCE. Buildings, temples, and hieroglyphics emerged by 300 BCE. Later, the Maya civilization entered its peak, with cities forming city-states linked by complex trade networks. Hundreds of Maya settlements existed across Central America, but for reasons unknown, many were suddenly abandoned, left in ruins. The Maya civilization never recovered, and by the late 17th century, the last Maya city-state, Noshpeten, fell to Spanish colonizers, marking the end of the Maya civilization. Many Maya legends continue to circulate in Central America, and numerous Hollywood works draw on the Maya civilization, such as the Crystal Skull, which involves aliens in the Maya region. According to archaeologists, these rock paintings were created during the Ice Age, approximately 12,600 to 11,800 years ago, at a time when glaciers were retreating from mid-latitudes. This area, being close to the equator with a warm, humid climate year-round, was the ideal place for habitation during the Ice Age. 2,000-year-old tombs by the road. The Turush Rock Tomb Complex, found in the ancient city of Tharza, Turkey, is a mysterious and captivating destination for those interested in exploring cultural heritage. Meticulously carved into the rock, these tombs create an impressive underground space. To reach the tomb chambers, visitors must descend 10 to 13 steps. These unique structures were built during the period of Roman occupation in the area, where the land next to the Adiaman Shanlurfa Highway became part of the once thriving city of Tharsa. One of the latest tombs to be excavated has drawn particular attention. Adorned with two bull heads placed right at the entrance, it has become a unique and mysterious symbol. These bull heads are thought to have been placed there to protect the tomb's occupant from evil, according to archaeologists. In Roman culture, the bull was often considered a symbol of the god Jupiter, representing power and strength, reflecting reverence for divine strength and a protective spirit. Additionally, bullheads held significant meaning in Roman culture, symbolizing the city of Athens and representing strength, fertility, and associations with the god Mars, the deity of war and agricultural protection. This special tomb includes a main chamber and three arches, with intricate decorations such as garlands and roses at the entrance. The findings provide valuable insights into Roman burial customs and cultural life of that era. The Turush Rock Tomb Complex is among the oldest Roman burial complexes, offering a deeper look into their lives and beliefs. The Oldest Pyramid in the World On a hillside in West Java, Indonesia, an extraordinary discovery has recently come to light. A massive pyramid named Gunung Padang, buried beneath the earth. With the emergence of Gunung Padang, Archaeologists believe it may surpass famous sites like Stonehenge or the Giza pyramids, potentially making it the oldest structure ever built by humans. The local community calls it Pundin Burundak, meaning a step pyramid, highlighting its terrace design, with steps leading from the base to the summit. Using radiocarbon dating, researchers believe Gunung Padang was constructed by an ancient civilization that may date back to the last ice age, more than 16,000 years ago. The core of this structure is believed to have been built between 25,000 and 14,000 BCE, then abandoned for millennia. Over time, the pyramid underwent multiple structural modifications, the latest around 2000 to 1100 BCE. Architects added surface soil layers and stone steps, creating the distinctive Pundin Burundak design seen today. Inside the pyramid, researchers have found deep cavities and hidden chambers, some potentially up to 15 meters wide and 10 meters high, detected through seismic waves. Though the ultimate purpose of the ancient builders of Gunung Padang remains unknown, 
With technological support, researchers believe they will soon have detailed diagrams of the entire pyramid structure and uncover the hidden elements within it. Ancient Cemetery and Thousands of Tombs on Sheer Cliffs The ancient cemetery complex is a priceless heritage of humanity, especially one as well-preserved as in Sicily, Italy. Here, the rock necropolis of Pantelica is not only a historical relic, but also a unique tourist destination, enchanting visitors with its remarkable mystery and grandeur. Viewed from afar, the cemetery complex resembles a massive honeycomb with thousands of tombs carved deeply into the sheer cliffs. Each tomb is a meticulous work of art, holding thousands of stories and secrets from a distant past. Entering the site, Visitors are immersed in the solemn and mysterious atmosphere of the space. The tombs are like man-made caves, divided into separate chambers, each one a marvel of human creativity. The Pantelica Necropolis is located in the Hyblaean Mountains, formed by the Caltanara and Anapo Rivers. This is not only a historical area, but also a natural wonder with its pristine and perfect beauty. Over thousands of years, the Pantelica Rock Cemetery has witnessed the rise and fall of various peoples and civilizations. From the ancient Sakani to the Romans and Muslims, every step on this land is a meaningful and wondrous journey. Today, entering this area immerses one in the serene and mysterious aura of the ancient cemetery. It is not merely a visit but a spiritual experience, giving visitors a deeper understanding of the richness and diversity of human culture through the centuries. A thousand-year-old castle beneath a basketball court. In the city of Gloucester, England, an archaeological discovery has revealed fascinating details about a long-lost castle. During the construction of new local facilities, archaeologists from the Cotswold Archaeology Agency uncovered the remains of an ancient castle beneath an old basketball court. This castle, known as Gloucester Castle, was built during the early Middle Ages when the Normans conquered England in the 11th century. Over time, the castle was expanded through various renovations. By the 13th century, it had become a residence for members of the English royal family. However, between the 15th and 17th centuries, the castle gradually fell into decline. Much of the stone from its fortifications was stripped and repurposed to build roads and structures in the city center. By then, only a small portion of the castle was used as a local prison. In 1787, the castle was demolished, and the land was used for farming for many years before completely disappearing from historical records. The recent excavation has uncovered hidden structures of the castle that previous inhabitants were unable to destroy. Some trenches reveal the remnants of medieval structures that archaeologists believe were part of a bridge or raised brick causeway crossing defensive moats. Additionally, a section of a post-medieval wall has been identified, relating to gardens established on the ruins in the 19th century. The excavation has revealed significant archaeological evidence remaining at a relatively shallow depth, providing insight into land use and landscape changes in the city over many centuries. The Thousand-Year-Old Al-Nazla Rock Across the world, there are rocks surrounded by mysteries yet to be unraveled. Among these is the natural Al-Nazla Rock, located in the tourist oasis of Taima, Saudi Arabia. At first glance, the rock may not seem particularly intriguing, but on closer inspection, it reveals a perfect split, divided into two halves with an almost unbelievably precise cut. This has led some to speculate if extraterrestrials visited Saudi Arabia thousands of years ago. The sandstone rock was discovered in the 19th century by an American archaeologist. It is split into two halves with a sharp cut, and despite millennia of erosion, each half still stands tall on a very small pedestal. Each half measures about 9 meters in height and 7.5 meters in width, weighing hundreds of tons, balanced on a smaller rock below. The split between the two halves reveals a perfectly smooth, flat surface with a separation gap so precise that it appears as though it was cut by modern laser technology, though lasers weren't invented until the 1960s. To date, no one has been able to determine when or how the cut was formed. Was it created by humans, or is it a natural phenomenon? Some suggest it could be the work of an ancient civilization more advanced than we currently imagine. Some videos attempt to explain the formation of the cut as evidence of early high technology, 
From a geological perspective, researcher Cherry Lewis from the University of Bristol explains that the clean cut of the rock may indeed be a product of Mother Nature. The division could have formed over thousands or even millions of years. This process occurs when water seeps into a small crack in the rock, then freezes and expands, causing the crack to widen and lengthen. As the ice melts, water seeps further into the rock, and this cycle repeats over a long period, aided by desert wind erosion. Sandblasting effects from strong winds could create smooth surfaces on the rock. Additionally, mysterious drawings and symbols appear on the rock's surface, notably an image of a man and a horse. Ancient records suggest that the oasis of Tema dates back to the 8th century BCE. The hieroglyphs on the rock mention Tema, a part of an important overland route connecting the Red Sea of the Arabian Peninsula to the Nile Valley. The Legendary Ancient Temple in Mexico In the city of Atlixco in central Mexico, archaeologists have uncovered the remains of a legendary ancient temple lost thousands of years ago. This temple was once considered to be purely mythical. However, the discovery of its ruins has proven otherwise. The city of Atlixco has long preserved a legend about a temple known as the Teocali, which was believed to have been lost thousands of years ago. The Teocali Temple is thought to have been built long before European settlers arrived in the 1500s. According to local Atlixquenses, the original temple was built atop San Miguel Hill, where a Catholic chapel now stands, dedicated to the Archangel Michael. However, these were thought to be merely folk tales passed down through generations, with no archaeological evidence ever found to substantiate the existence of this legendary temple. For thousands of years, many believed this temple to be no more than a myth, until an archaeological team from Mexico's Ministry of Culture, through the National Institute of Anthropology and History, announced they had discovered its remains. They found artifacts and architectural elements including stone tools, decorative items, and clay pots dating over a thousand years old. These objects were created by the Nahua people of Mesoamerica, who inhabited the area centuries before Europeans arrived. The deity worshipped in the temple remains unknown. Among the possible figures of reverence are Quetzalcoatl, the creator and civilizer of humanity, Tlaloc, the rainbringer, or Maquil Xochitl, the god of festivities and dance. However, scientists indicate that more research is necessary before making any definitive conclusions. This discovery confirms centuries-old local legends, while also raising a series of new questions. It appears the temple may have been constructed and reconstructed multiple times throughout Mesoamerican history, from the late pre-classic to the early post-classic periods, spanning roughly 100 BCE to 1000 CE. The Nine-Tiered Demon Tower Ruins The Nine-Tiered Demon Tower, also known as the Nine-Tiered Ghost Tower, is a mysterious ruin that appears in the Chinese tomb raiding novel, Ghost Blows Out the Light. Fans of tomb raiding stories might be familiar with it from the popular film adaptation, Ghost Blows Out the Light, The Nine-Tiered Demon Tower. Whether this nine-tiered demon tower actually exists remains a significant question for fans and archaeologists alike. According to Sohu, it does exist. The real-life nine-tiered demon tower is known as the Reishui No. 1 Great Tomb in Qinghai, China, where archaeologists have discovered numerous animal sacrifice offerings. The Reishui No. 1 Great Tomb is the largest and most prestigious tomb among burial sites in China. Located in Dulan County, Qinghai Province, it sits among a vast collection of Tibetan Empire tombs on the Qinghai-Tibet Plateau, dating from the early 7th century to the mid-9th century. Tombs are distributed along both banks of the river, with over 160 on the north bank and more than 130 on the south. The site was discovered in 1982, and in 1996, it was designated a major national cultural heritage site in China. Archaeologists uncovered many animal sacrifice offerings, including 87 complete horses arranged in a specific order. Above the tomb complex, a raised area of earth led to the folk name Nine-Tiered Demon Tower. The largest tomb in this group is the Reshui No. 1 Great Tomb, also called Grave No. 1. The tombs feature a stacked trapezoidal design on a natural mountain base, creating a layered effect. Grave No. 1 is the largest, most significant tomb in the complex and the entire Qinghai region, ranking nearly on par with royal tombs. Smaller and medium-sized tombs surround it. 
Research indicates that this tomb complex belonged to the royal family of the Tuyuhun people. However, evidence confirming the exact construction period is still lacking. Archaeologists speculate that the tomb dates to the 7th to 8th centuries, aligning with the early Tang Dynasty in central China. The true identity of the tomb's owner remains uncertain. The mysteries of archaeology captivate not only researchers, but also the general public. Besides the discoveries mentioned, do you know of other archaeological finds? Share them in the comments below so everyone can explore together. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye and see you soon.